So, let's go over this again. You say that your socks are missing, and I'm the one who has to go and find them. Yeah, that's what I said. You are a detective, you know, and it was kind of your job, you know what I'm saying? Now, why the hell do I have to go and find your socks when you can just go put on another pair? Like, maybe the pair that's uh, in your pants right there. Oh, oh this? This? Well, first of all, you know, this is your job, so you're going to sit here all day, you're going to get off your ass and find my socks instead of staring at my massive package all day. All right. I'll go find your socks, but let me tell you that I'm going to take my sweet time finding them. Why does nobody take me seriously here? I mean, come on. Everybody just comes to me, oh, I lost my cat. Oh, I lost my socks. You can you help me find them? This is bullshit. I'm one of the best detectives the temple has to offer. Hey, can you help me find my cat? Why, why don't you just get the hell out of here, all right? Just, just go. Just go. It's people like that that make me hate this job. But it doesn't matter much longer. I just need one more hard-hitting case, and I can retire to my private island down in the Bahamas. Aren't you only 18? How can you retire? I told you to get out of here! I know this case is coming up soon, and I almost feel it like it's right in front of me. A little monologue tells me you're looking for a hard case. Uh, well, yeah. Yes, I am. Do you have one? The walls have ears, and they're listening. Alright, so, what now? Follow me. Alright, now what are we doing in here? I can tell you here. Sure it's safe? You sure that the, the walls don't have ears or anywhere after you drag me all over the place? Nah, yeah. everything's okay here. Alright, so, let me hear. What's the case about? Say it's no bullshit case, is it? No, sir. This is a matter very dear to my heart. Let me hear the case. Okay, now listen. I lost my roommate. Alright, uh, let me think. Uh, what are some distinguishable features of your roommate? Uh, you know, he has some hair, uh, handsome eyes. How many eyes? Two eyes. Alright, that doesn't really help us at all either. Um, what, what was his major? Uh, he, he was a dino major. A dinosaur major? Yes. Do you know where dinosaur majors might, um, Hang out? Uh, outside. Outside? Probably outside. I think I know a uh, place where uh, Dino Majors might hang out, alright? Let, let me help you out of there. Nah, no, I got it. I was building something! What are you building? It was a, a, a wooden tower! Wow. Yeah. So it took you to know that? Yeah, I do. How do you know? Uh, I think here is your roommate? His ex roommate? Yeah, actually, he's one of my residents. So you're an RA? Right. Yeah. Well, why does he think you're his roommate? Well, I was always in his room helping him out, getting him set up and set up and stuff like that, but I mean, he also thinks everything is his roommate. I mean, check that out. He does this about everything he sees. Yeah, I'm pretty glad that I met you. Yeah, I know. We're gonna go through a lot together, I think. There's something about this Ben character. I can't really put my finger on it. I mean, he's definitely not the same as everybody else. But in what way, really? This one? This one? 
Yeah. So this is your room, huh, Ben? What? <sighs> Alright, let's see what we can find here. Hmm, so we got a lot of stuff on the ground. Seems to be a tennis player. Um, uh, very disorganized person. Uh, not, not very good at that. On the walls, posters. Dude, stop! Where have you been? Where did here. you go? I was here the whole time. What do you mean you were here the whole time? I was sitting in here. Alright, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, I think I might have solved your case. If you could just answer this question for me. Okay. What is your roommate's name? Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. That's right. Describe to me what Bill Cosby looks like. Um, he's an average size man. Uh, probably in his 60s or 70s. Um, he likes to give advice and he wears sweaters. Does he, does he smoke cigars a lot? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, see, I, 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 I solved your case, you know? Really? Yeah. What you're looking for, I can't find. It's impossible. You've lost your mind. How dare you say that? I'm going to look for my roommate. Hi there, folks. Every year, 22 people die because of elevators. Out of those 22 people, three suffer from severe nose bleeding. So this just goes to show you, elevators may be the safest thing on the planet. So you have nothing to worry about. Or do you?